Hey Nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we're going to Goodwill doing some thrift shopping. Hopefully we can find some really cool vintage goodies to either resell and flip or maybe add a few things to my own home. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what they had at Goodwill today. So this trunk caught my attention here. I assume it's an old hope chest. I don't know if people do hope chests anymore, but I like the sentiment behind it. Really adorable detailing here, the metal bows, really intricate. Looks like they went ahead and painted over something. I probably would have preferred it before they painted it, so it's kind of a shame that they went ahead and did that. They were asking $50 for that there. This is the hand pick section, so you know things are a little bit higher priced in this area. Saw this lantern that caught my attention. I think it was a newer version though. I was it just seemed to be on the more modern side, but it just seemed to be too shiny really. <laughs> so I didn't I wasn't sure on that, but I've been kind of looking out for different lanterns. This little seashell dish here. Good size too. This table is very sparkly. <laughs> I don't know if those are pewter or silver. Kind of look like pewter. Ten dollars for this straw holder. I don't know if this is true vintage. It kind of looks like a repo to me, but the bottom was kind of hard to make out. Those are pretty fun though. I like how you can just pull them up with a little tab at the top. It's always kind of fun to look through this section, but I don't often find much that I would like. This was a signed pottery piece, kind of heavy. However, cute little single S&P put out by Lennox. Oh, I guess it's not a single. Like an Eiffel Tower and a chicken. Oh, he has like a little French hat on him. <laughs> cute, 10 bucks. That's fun. I'm not really into the salt and pepper shakers, but they are cute. I don't know why I'm always drawn to all the pottery pieces. I never quite know what to use them for, but I, don't know. I think I like handcrafted things, so that's probably why I tend to pick them up. To at least look at. <laughs> nice Norman Rockwell picture there. I love his artwork so much it always gets me. They do have one table where they tend to put their higher end toys or things I think are vintage. I love this little puppeteer. It's so cute. A little horse. Of course I had to try to get it to do the little walk. I feel like we're asking 10 bucks for it. It's really not that bad but it's in pretty good condition. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Put on a little puppet show. <laughs> This Darth Vader. Looks a little different. So let's go ahead and check out the end caps, the things they thought were worthy to put on display. I wasn't finding much for vintage here. All pretty modern pieces. The next end cap over, however, I found this amazing little piece. A beautiful vintage stretched vase, $6. I'm not sure of the color. I I want to say amber, but it's almost like got a brown hue to it. So I don't know what you would consider that color. Maybe like a honey amber. The shells are pretty bare today, so pretty easy to skim. One benefit to it, I suppose. I love these little mini bells. I had recently 
well, a few months ago picked up a little bit of a collection of them. And that was the first time I saw another one there. This one's a little bit larger, Houston, Texas. Nice little state souvenir. You guys know I have a hard time walking away from the state souvenir pieces. I think they're really fun. This poor cutie was missing its beak. It was a nice redware piece. I wonder, no, I think it's supposed to be like a chickadee. I was almost going to say a penguin, but it doesn't have the little penguin feet, so. <laughs> Cute little sugar dish. Some chipped pottery. <laughs> Seth Potts. Okay. Got some modern planters here. Now this is like borderline bluebird goose, but I believe it's a duck. It's actually super heavy. Kind of a cute idea for a sugar dish though. Sits within a cute little figurine, so kind of neat. I'm contemplating it. <laughs> it's pretty unique. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought this was so adorable. Do you think a bride made this when she was anticipating, you know, soon to be married? So cute. Well, what year would you say they got married? On the back it says, I don't know if I can make it out. I'm guessing it's from the 70s. Very pretty. I love all the yellow on it. Kind of a creepy little bunny. <laughs> not seeing too much here so bare these shelves are it never used to be this way my shelves at my goodwill used to be so full well hello there <laughs> are you enjoying your shopping trip she's saying no, not too much. I'm not finding funny many things. <laughs> Ooh, a Mary Inglebright tin. Unfortunately, this isn't in phenomenal condition. It's pretty rusted on the bottom. It was pretty rusted on the inside. Mary Inglebright is a collectible item. Depending what it is, it can resell very well. Personally, I probably would have kept this tin for myself had it been in better condition. I just adore the graphics on it. Really fun. So you know the gardener and me was loving this piece. It's a nice metal wall plate. And I love the imagery on it. I was very surprised. Maybe you guys will be too. But when I flipped it over, it said this was an original Norman Rockwell piece. Makes sense. I love his work. This was this particular plate was put out in 1985. I have never seen anything he's done that didn't depict some kind of a person. Usually it's like a family or something along that line. So that was pretty neat to see the still life picture there. We have this set of vintage Florida souvenir salt and pepper shakers, the lemon and the orange. Some more salt and pepper shakers. Kind of that country style, like a grain sack. The orange caught my attention. Three bucks. Not really a bad deal. Made in China. I believe that set was from the 80s or 90s. I've seen that pattern before. As you can see, I'm not finding a whole lot today. This would be cute for like a little fairy garden if you did those. One buckaroo. Kind of cute. You don't see very many items with peacocks on it, so this grabbed my attention. I believe there was something inside of it, like a lotion or candle. I can't quite figure that out. This is kind of a cool little wooden statue of the dolphins. 
Seems like I'm finding a lot of Florida stuff today. I don't know if someone moved here from Florida or if they are just souvenir pieces they decided to let go of. $8 for this. A little bit of a repair job there, it looks like. It's cracking. Yeah. It's kind of fun if you're into dolphins. You know, you win some, you lose some. You don't always go into the thrift store finding, you know, a cart full of treasures. More often than not, I find more things. So, you know, I've had a pretty good streak, I guess, every once in a while. I can have a bad day of thrifting. Kind of a cute little sentiment plate. All the little crafty hand-painted ceramics of the 70s. People are letting go of them. It's kind of art deco-y, probably the 80s. Three bucks. Pretty little vase. Seems like it's a very specific aesthetic. Good. Eh, might be able to use it for cottage core, the florals, but kind of like the lines through the entire piece there. Where has all the vintage gone? I'm seeing a lot of early 2000 items today. Like this is very primitive, which was super popular in the early 2000s. Maybe some late 90s, mid late 90s items here. Well, this is new in package, some Ray Dunn spatulas. I actually do need these, so I might go ahead and grab these for myself. I like to use them when I'm making my sourdough, when I'm feeding it rather. <laughs> so, you know, I might go ahead and get those. Sometimes you can find some of the vintage utensils. I always like to look for those. I've got a really nice vintage ladle from here before, so. I feel like this is really bad and really boring. I'm so sorry. I mean, I can't help what's in the store today. But, you know, you guys do tell me that, you know, you go into stores often and you can't find anything either. So maybe you appreciate it and can relate to us going and also not finding much. Got this little vintage Easter craft. Kind of cute. I like the fabric on it. Peter Rabbit in the garden, right? It's kind of fun. Hmm. I like the yellow. It's cheery. Let's add it to the cart. Let's get something, right? <laughs> well, let's see if we have any better luck looking through the Christmas. These are made in China, but I do think they are older. Probably late 80s. A salt and pepper shaker set. I think I actually have these in my array of Christmas decor. I used to set up an entire hutch and just fill it with all kinds of Santas mainly. So I would just buy whatever Santa I could find back then. I've since let go some of that collection. A little more particular these days, but it's a pretty sweet planter here. I don't know what I'd put in it. Maybe like a faux Christmas tree. It's pretty heavy. It's a little bit chipped, but nothing too serious. I wouldn't ship it, it's too heavy, and you know, I don't really need it, so I'm gonna pass on that. So I believe this is trying to be a dream catcher. I'm really into that kind of thing, but I do love the natural elements to this. Love the colors to it. It's really, really quite neat. I like more natural things, so definitely was pondering on that piece. 
<laughs> so this is a beautiful candelabra. I love the wooden elements and I just thought this was really gorgeous. It did have some dings and etc. throughout it, but overall not in horrible condition. Now it's a little on the heavier side so I didn't feel like I wanted to resell it and I didn't really have a personal use for it, but I did look this up and I found one listing and they had labeled it as a tabletop advent wreath. So maybe it has something to do with Christmas, I'm not really sure, but, and they are selling theirs for 160 bucks, so maybe I should have snagged it even with the issues. Maybe I could have got a little bit of a profit off it, but I really didn't want to ship anything that heavy, so ultimately passed on it. It's kind of cute. But it's modern. <laughs> it was actually wooden. Kind of looks like it would be like a redware ceramic or something, but it was not. So this was kind of a neat item. It needed to be cleaned up a little bit on the inside as it's that kind of velvety material. But overall, really beautiful. I love the padded design to the outside of it. It's kind of a velvet. Only $3. I thought that would be worth taking a chance on to resell because I do think that is very nice. This is a very beautiful tin. Always checking out the tins. And they made such great ones, really cool graphics, absolutely adore these. They're awesome to pick up and use for storage. I like to store various things in my kitchen in it. You know, instead of having a junk drawer, just pick up some cute tins and then kind of organize them on a little cabinet or shelf and you don't have to mess with a junk drawer, but you kind of have a place for everything. That's what I like to do. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. I, is it a book? I think they're bookends yeah and you could kind of stretch it out depending on your need I believe that's what it is <laughs> they're asking three dollars for this probably from the 80s anytime I see pink and blue I'm just like automatically 80s right <laughs> but there's a little damage to it Kind of a cute idea though. I decided to go ahead and leave it behind even though I thought it was kind of neat. You know I'm a trivet kind of girl so I had to check this out. Peace and Plenty. Three dollars. This wooden trivet with some like cork very thin cork like overlay to it. It's pretty. This is probably the 70s. It's like 70s graphics. Something was broken off at the center there. I'm not sure what it would have originally been on there. Cute little turtle pin cushion. Probably handmade. Dollars, some scratches in it, but potentially could have got that out with some oil. You know, I'm getting bored shopping when I start playing with the items on the shelf. <laughs> like, uh, okay, time to leave. <laughs> we'll keep moving on. Maybe we could find some things, but yeah, I wasn't having a whole lot of luck today. I was getting kind of bummed out. I have another one of these trivets, the same exact one. The coloring's a little faded on this, but it's also missing whatever was snapped off the top. Is it faded or did it come that way? It almost looks like it's faded. No. Well, I put the pair together, so make something right in the world today, right? <laughs>
Initially, I was a little perplexed by this item. I was like, what is this, like a pipe? But then I could see it was actually a golf club. So just, you know, something for a fan of golf to put on their desk or something like that. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot. You guys are probably watching this thing. You're missing everything. There's so many cool things, but I don't know, preference, I guess. I just wasn't seeing much of anything. St. Thomas, little seashell, I guess, key holder? Is that Florida, probably? I'm not sure where St. Thomas is. If this is not my cart, there was a you know, new items being put out on the floor, so I kind of glanced real quick. I wasn't sure. I was like, should I look in there? Didn't really see anything off the top, so... I don't tend to look in them too much. I didn't see the person around. I saw them, you know, kind of walk off. So usually I like to ask before I start rooting around. Some are happy to have you do it because they're like, yes, please do. I don't want to take care of it. And others, I kind of, you know, just would rather you not and wait for it to be on the shelf. So I decided to just go ahead and wait. I did kind of like these rooster candlestick holders. They had a really rustic look to it. I don't know if that's a top of a fairy lamp or just one of the regular like type of candles. Some more pottery. Always so pretty. I just don't know what to use all these little pieces for. I would, you know, a larger pottery bowl I would probably use, but the smaller things I'm not quite sure of. It's quite a lot going on here. What is this? Wow. No idea. Mountain Brew. Roadkill Cafe. Is it like some kind of a restaurant souvenir maybe? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> There's a lot to take in on this. Wow. They did have this really cool vintage Dunkin Donuts thermos. This thing was chunky. It was big. It was probably a good 24 ounces. And they were asking $10 for it. Now, these only go for, you know, about $15. So I didn't really find it to be worth my time to go ahead and purchase it. But that was really cool. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. I probably would have snagged it. It was just really neat to, you know, come across. They had a bunch of these Disney like, refillable cups. I guess you would buy these at the park and be able to refill your drinks for a little bit of a cheaper rate, I'm guessing, there. But I think that's what you do. Yeah, refills. Yeah, that is what it is. Refills. I see something about refills on it. So they had a, a little bit of a collection here. Donald, my favorite. <laughs> I'm not really that into Disney, but I do find Donald Duck pretty amusing. But yeah, these weren't too particularly expensive, and I was thinking maybe if I could sell them as a lot on eBay, I might give that a try. But they're kind of a neat little collection there, so I thought they might be handy for someone to have that was a really big Disney fan. A little bread box. I was considering this because I did start making my own bread this year, but decided to pass on it. I'm not really into plastic things that much. I'm always drawn to these like nautical little sailor dudes. <laughs> I think they're so fun. Four dollars for that. You know, living where I do, it's very, very common to have these type of items around, but I still like them. I don't decorate it with them personally, but I'd love to decorate like a little beach house and some vintage nautical stuff. I think that'd be really fun to do sometime. Maybe I'll purchase an Airbnb someday and do that. Sounds fun. Yeah, a lot of modern stuff today. I did find this guy here. Some Evangeline Canadian pottery. This is very similar to the Blue Mountain pottery. Oftentimes people get them confused if they're not labeled. Sometimes they're not, but I do really like that. 
I always have to scan the plate aisle to see if I can find any more plates to add to my 70s floral stoneware plate wall, but it's been running dry. Hopefully I can find some at yard sales for good deals because I swear I used to find them all the time and then I just don't see them anymore. So maybe I should have went with the state souvenir pieces. I could have filled my wall up quicker. <laughs> These are beautiful restaurant wear platters. They're like, I guess they're kind of like oval plates, but fancy, fancy. This was such a great score. I was so happy. I decided to go look at the material, like the linens. I couldn't believe I found this. It was a good amount of it too, so I'm very happy with that.